Welcome to Lesson 10.4, Volumes of Pyramids and Cones. So, in our last lesson, we looked at volumes of prisms and cylinders, now looking at pyramids and cones. Now, my apologies, the formula here printed weird, but you'll have to write this one out. The Pyramid Cone Volume Formula. So our formula for both pyramids and cones <clears throat> is the volume of any pyramid or cone equals one-third the product of its height, there should be a T here, of its height H and its base area represented by the capital B. So our equation is V equals one-third capital B H. And then just a reminder for you that base and height are perpendicular. Anytime you're coming across those terms, base and height in geometry, they're referring to a perpendicular angle for their intersection. Looking down at example one then, we're going to apply our volume formula to our cone here with a diameter of 4. So the area of the base is pi times radius squared, area of a circle. If our diameter was 4 centimeters, we know our radius was 2 centimeters. So our area would be 2 squared times pi, or 4 pi centimeters squared. And I'm not going to approximate that yet until we get to our final volume. So I'm going to leave it as 4 pi. Then going to our volume formula. One third area of the base, 4 pi, multiplied by the height of the cone, 11. So 11 times 4 pi is 44 pi, multiplied by the one third would give us 44 pi over 3, and we could leave it as 44 pi over 3 centimeters cubed for our exact answer, or we could put that into a calculator and get our approximate answer of 46.08 centimeters cubed. <clears throat> Moving on to example 2, we are looking at a triangular pyramid. Now we know the base of this triangular pyramid is down here. So we're finding the area of this bottom triangle. So the area of that base would be one half base times height because it's a triangle. Base of that triangle is 13 inches. Height of that triangle, meeting the base at 90 degrees, is 8.874. So then put that in. 13 times 8.874 multiplied by a half gives us 57.681 square inches. Then we're going to take that area and use it in our volume formula. One third area base times height. So one third multiplied by 57.618 multiplied by the height of our pyramid, which is 12 inches. <clears throat> that gives us a final volume of 230.724 cubic inches, or inches to the third power. Example 3, we're looking at a regular pentagonal pyramid. So, it matters if it's a pentagonal pyramid or a regular pentagon, so we're making that distinction here that it is a regular pentagon. So our base, we know it's a pentagon with sides of 8. So that perimeter would be 8 times the 5 sides, which would give us 40. Now the reason the perimeter of the base matters is our area for a regular polygon formula is 1 half the apothem length multiplied by the perimeter of the base. So we know our perimeter of the base was 40. Now I went in and did the math for you. 
I'm not worried about you finding the apothem length. So the apothem of a regular pentagon with sides of 8 millimeters is approximately 5.5 millimeters. So for our apothem, we'll use 5.5 millimeters. So area of our base, 1 half multiplied by 5.5 multiplied by 40, gives us an area of 110 millimeters squared. Then, putting that in for volume, one-third multiplied by that 110 area of the base, multiplied by our height, which would be 10 millimeters, giving us a volume of 366 and two-thirds cubic millimeters, or millimeters cubed. Example four, <clears throat> looking at a rectangular pyramid, we know that because the base is a rectangle. So area of our base, 7 times 13, giving us 91 square feet. Then multiply that area of the base, 91, times our height of the pyramid, 11 feet, giving us 1,001 cubic feet. And then we get down to example five here, where in this case, they tell us that we are dealing with an ice cream cone that has a height of 10 centimeters and a volume of 90 cubic centimeters. Using that information, we need to find the radius of the base. So we know volume is one third area of the base times the height. So if I knew my volume was 90, and the height was 10, I can put that information into our volume formula to solve for B. So 90, divide it by the 1 third, which is 270, then divide it by 10 to get B alone, giving us 27 square centimeters as the area of that base. Then, if we know it's a cone, our base is a circle, so that area of the base formula would be pi times radius squared. Well, if we know that area was 27, we can use that formula to find our radius. So we have 27 equals pi times radius squared. So if we divide by pi and then square root, we'll get our radius. So our radius is equal to the square root of 27 over pi, which is approximately 2.93 centimeters. And then getting to our final example, we have example six dealing with a square pyramid. So the volume of the square pyramid is 648 cubic centimeters. Height is eight centimeters find the length of an edge of the base. So again, we're going to work backward to find the area of our base first. So we knew our volume was 648. We knew the height of the pyramid was eight. So we'll use the volume formula to find B. So 648, divide by the one third, and then divide by eight. So that gives us 243 square centimeters for the area of our base. Then if our base is a square, we know the area of our base equals a side length to the second power, or squared. So 243 equals our side length squared. So if we square root 243, we get the length of a side, which would be the edge of the base, because all four sides of that base are the same length with it being a square. So square root of 243 is approximately 15.59 centimeters. Now, just like the last volume lesson, purpose of these lessons, especially at the end of the year, is to get you exposure to ideas and using these volume formulas. 
So as you go through the practice problems, you may need to go back, refer to the lesson and some of the other examples within the lesson, and it would be beneficial to take a few minutes to read through those to help you with the practice problems.